morning. Uh, I'm making breakfast. And I, this week, decided to focus more on nutrition because that is where I'm lacking. I can exercise all day, but I cannot eat right. So I did my little research and decided that I'm gonna focus more on the nutrition aspect of things. I did lose one pound, 1.2 pounds so far. That's not a big jump at all for it being a month already. So that is what I'm gonna focus on some more. I will link some websites that I've used for BMI calculator and like my calculations of how many carbs, fats, and proteins I should be eating for my body size. And I'm starting to like <clears throat> learn more about nutrition and the other aspect of losing weight. I now understand why people only eat like five things in their diet. Like I had a patient once tell me like, I only eat grass fed beef, oatmeal, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, how can you eat the same shit every day basically? <laughs> like I get so bored. But after having to sit here and count how many carbs are in what and how many protein is in what, like, I don't know how people on keto do it because my whole diet is consistent of carbs. Like, I just try to cut it out and it just doesn't happen for me. So now I understand why people eat only five things. It just makes it easier. I just got back from hiking, so now I'm gonna eat lunch. I made this last uh, week. <laughs> um, I meal prepped it for work. I didn't know what I was doing. I just kind of put a bunch of stuff together. So I have white jasmine rice, um, orange and red bell peppers, some mushrooms, and then the like fake chicken. I think it's pea protein. It was really good, <laughs> I'm shocked. Um, but I meal prepped and still trying to get a hold of this like, or used to this like, I can do calorie counting all day, but carb and macros and micros, another ball game. Good morning, I am determined to not eat uh, oatmeal today. So we're gonna do somewhat of an omelet, not really. I have four egg whites there. I kind of laugh, I was talking to an endoc endocrinologist and he was like, you can have one egg a day to like one of my coworkers because that's her doctor. And I was like, one egg? I eat like four. And he's like, what? One is not filling enough. So I'm going to make that with some cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms. And I don't know why I feel like having blue cheese. to have the weirdest breakfast but i started doing more research and i now know what has protein how much and i'm actually gonna weigh that today so i have two hard bo hard boiled eggs cooking in that thing right there it'll start singing soon i'm gonna have some tofu some mushrooms and some leftover turkey from thanksgiving do you think that turkey is still good how long has it been? Okay, according to Pinterest, a cup of mushrooms has four grams of protein. This has eight grams per three ounces. I have my handy dandy little scale here that we're gonna use for the first time. You guys, I'm proud of myself. I cut the exact perfect slice of tofu. <laughs> Thank you. 
the eggs are done. I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all this. But we shall see. All right. Mushrooms, tofu. I don't even know how I'm gonna season this yet. We'll see. Add the protein. This is protein packed right there. All right, I decided to use garlic and herb seasoning. Mix this around. Y'all, I was supposed to go on a five mile run this morning and um, it's not looking like it's going to happen. If I'm going to eat all this, I might have to go in a few hours. Maybe I'll go run my errands first. Then I'll never go running. What is this like? All right, here's breakfast. Two hard boiled eggs. I'm not going to eat the yolk. Mushrooms, one cup. Uh, three ounces of tofu and four ounces of turkey and then i have a protein shake it's grocery shopping day again all right i bought all kinds of healthy food this time and you guys i feel so empowered because now that i know what to eat i feel like we are this journey is just gonna go so much better okay i got eggs old-fashioned oats some ground turkey because there's 21 grams of uh, protein per serving some chicken because there is i'll have to get back to you on that <laughs> then i went to trader joe's and got some flax seeds they were out of chia seeds which kind of sucks some mangoes i really like these and i don't know why they have a ton of the sugar ones like I, that's not what i want I bought some Kiona. I think that's how you say it. And blueberries. Good antioxidants. Some almonds, because they're six grams per fourth of a cup. And black beans, because this is six grams of protein as well. Sunflower seeds, shockingly, eight grams of protein per fourth of a cup. Kind of caloric. So are the, the uh, nuts, but that's okay. Some salmon and I have another bag of stuff. Some baby spinach. I went to Trader Joe's hoping they had my favorite salad and they did not, so I was kind of sad. Uh, some banana because that's banana that I put in my um, oatmeal. Butter. I can't believe it's not butter because that's how I cook my chicken. Some apples. Plain Greek yogurt. This has seven grams of protein in a six ounce serving. Peppers, avocado. Jesus Christ, so much. Cottage cheese, this has 13 grams of protein per serving and ripple milk because that has eight grams of protein. Are you doing a trend here? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Lots of protein items. So yeah, I'm excited for what's to come the next couple of days, like what to eat first. So yeah. I just ran 4.65 miles and now it's ab time. So I do ab day the day I do running because abs don't burn calories for shit. So <laughs> I'm gonna eat a snack beforehand just to get my energy back up. So I'm gonna have a fourth of a cup of almond. Ah, okay, that's cheating. That's more than a fourth of a cup. All right, got six ounces of Greek yogurt. Now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of watch seed. One, two. Okay, now I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of this trail yogurt mix. You guys, Karen was making fun of me because I thought it was like yogurt mix because it's specifically made to put in your yogurt. 
And apparently, no, it's just that it has yogurt drops in it. I hate when he's right. I'm gonna experiment with dinner. And so I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I'm gonna start off with putting two cups of water in the rice cooker. And we're gonna make this Kiona, whatever. Don't make fun of me if I didn't say it right. And we're gonna do a cup. So two, three, four. I don't know how this is. It says I can cook it in the rice cooker, so. Boom, there we go. And this is the gluten-free Trader Joe's one. And the direction says I can make it in my rice cooker just like I do over with my rice. So we shall see. It better work. quickly spray with some olive oil. Turn on my heat to like a low medium. And then here is my bowl of stuff. I have mushrooms, carrots, broccoli, bell pepper, green and red. And I have um, six ounces of tofu. And then the kiona. I'm gonna add a little bit of the soy sauce to this tofu. Just a couple little spritz. And I'm gonna add a little bit to the veggies. And a little peeved because I put the peppers at the bottom of this and that's what probably is gonna cook the longest. So now I have to rifle through it to get it out. Here's the kiona. I think it's cooked. I wouldn't know. I've never had this before. Okay, so I'm gonna line the plate like this and then throw the veggies on top. Okay, here's dinner. Extras for the week and today. Hey guys, I woke up and the scale said 144.2. That is the lowest I've seen in a while. So I'm excited. But it's a day by day basis, so we'll see. I'm gonna take for breakfast six ounces of this yogurt. You guys, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Like, what is life? Like, I know it's good to be healthy, but seriously, well, I guess it's like cooking. Like, you take the time to get your pots and pans out anyway. But like really to sit here and measure your food is just a little insane to me. But it's working. <laughs> so I'll continue to do it. But I do think it's a little, it's a little ridiculous. I cannot get this damn six ounces. Boom. I'll take it 6.3. I'm gonna do one fourth of a cup of almonds again. I can never do this right. They always fall out. It's ridiculous. Okay, the almonds I'm eating separately. I'm gonna go one fourth of a cup of the trail mix. This is for my yogurt. And then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of flax seeds. I actually really like black seeds. They weren't bad. I don't like that they get stuck in your teeth, but that's okay. Just brush them afterwards. And then, my husband was telling him how I don't have chia seeds. And he was like, I have some. <laughs> so I was glad. And he's like, I'm never gonna 
eat this all by myself. So go ahead and have some. Perfect. One tablespoon. Oh my god. This yogurt looks a little funky. I don't know if this is something I would pick for myself if I wasn't on this journey, but there's breakfast. Lord, give me the strength to like this ripple milk. Okay, I usually drink oat milk. I don't think I'm lactose intolerant or anything like that. However, I have been having some GI issues, so I switched to oat, but thank you to the lovely world of advertising. The little cute boy on the commercial said, can you like stop? Sush, sush. That there was eight grams of protein in a cup of this and he was right it's made out of peas so i hope i like this i don't know if i'm supposed to shake it nope there's nothing at the bottom it shows okay so i'm gonna take eight ounces of this it doesn't smell bad i've tried almond milk i've tried oat milk which i like so far the best i've tried soy and just Coconut milk, nothing compares to real milk. Lactate is pretty good, but if this has more benefits, I will try this. So, usual protein powder, give it a little shake. Let's see. All right, here we go. That is not bad. That's actually pretty good. I'm shocked. I'm very picky with milk. And this is coming from a girl who used to drink a gallon in three days. A gallon of milk in three days. This is dinner tonight. I'm still kind of prepping it, but it's four ounces of chicken with some spinach. I have a sweet potato in the microwave. And then I am making chicken salads. This is four ounces each. Yes, I actually... Yes, I actually weighed it out and I'm cooking it individually for this. All right, so before I show you dinner that is done, I made this salad, spinach, four ounces of chicken. There are blue cheese, tomatoes, and um, this like walnut cranberry juice mix in it. I will be taking Italian dressing to work. And then I am gonna pack this Evolution Super Greens, no, Super Fruit Greens with me. An apple, my protein, which is a little messy, my protein bar, some utensils because there's never any in the back room. And then I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of almonds. And let me just tell you, apples as a nurse, not the friendliest snack. Like these almonds, I could keep in my pocket if I don't get a break and like pop them in my mouth, in the bathroom, if I run to the break room real quick, like anywhere, <laughs> essentially. However, an apple is not sanitary. Like, it's not something I can eat real quick. Oh, why am I putting that there? <laughs> it's not something I can hide in my pocket once I've been into it, you know? So the apple, sometimes it stays in my little backpack for a while because <laughs> sometimes it's just not convenient to eat. Next, I'm gonna prep my cottage cheese. Ah, oh, good grams. All right, let's see. So it's half a cup, but I'm not trying to, I'm so glad this little scale does a lot. Okay, 113 grams. Oh Lord. A little bit more. You guys, I'm seriously like, who am I right now with this? Last thing I'm gonna add is 13 grams of cottage cheese and some blueberries. That'll be lunch and break. Everything else is dinner. Looks amazing. 